Welcome, my beautiful Aries. Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, I appreciate you so very much for all of your support, likes, subscribes. Um, and if you will, keep liking, keep commenting, keep hitting that notification bell so that you know every time I upload. I appreciate you so very much. I hope everyone is doing well. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different, but we're going to take a look at um, love and money and your general reading. And we're going to do that in the near past, present, and future positions. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and look into them. I'm trying not to make the video very long, but we're going to see where it goes. Okay, so let's get started. What's going on for Aries? What's going on for Aries in relationships? What's going on for Aries in relationships? Okay, so we have religious factors. Wow. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. Okay, so you may have some beliefs that were maybe instilled in you as a child. And now those beliefs are kind of getting in the way of your love life. They're um, possibly... blocking you from maybe something that wasn't intended for you but your beliefs are stopping you from make that making that decision you know sometimes we get into these things where we believe certain things as children and we grow up believing those things and then as adults they kind of hold us back from the things that we want. Like that old saying, you know, that parents used to say, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, yeah, money doesn't grow on trees, but it flows to me effortlessly. It's not something that I have to work and work and work to get. It doesn't mysteriously present itself, but... It flows from the universe because what I put out is what I'm going to get back, right? So sometimes those beliefs that we're instilled as a child hold us back from the, the things in the world, right? Um, so yeah, taking a look at your belief system is going to help you out a lot. I believe Aries. Um, if this resonates with you, if it doesn't resonate with you, you know, bypass it, cut it out, you know. Um, but yeah, if you have beliefs that are kind of blocking you, take a look. Take a long, hard look and try to change those beliefs, Aries, okay? Then let's see what's going on with Aries money. Oh, a new start is coming. Wow. Okay, so you may have a change in career, some kind of new money flow coming to you. Um, but you definitely have a new start coming. There's something new that's developing. Okay, and that's in the present position. Okay, now for everything else, we have indigo and crystal children. So, now, if you don't know, indigo is the color of your third eye, your third eye chakra. So, this could be your intuition opening up. So, Archangel Metron, you have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. So, you know, you may be surrounded by children you know you may have a knack for dealing with children maybe you're a teacher maybe you're a daycare worker maybe you know you just love children in general so i, I feel like you're very nurturing when it comes to children okay 
um, you can see their sensitivity, you can see when they're hurt, you can see, you know, maybe something that they're going through. So I feel like you're very helpful in that aspect, okay? At the bottom, we also have patience. Archangel Jaffiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So something that you've been dreaming about. Something that you've been dreaming of doing still needs your nurturing, but have patience because it's still in the process, okay? It's still processing. It's still meant for you, Aries, but it's still, it's still up in the air in the moment. There's still some things that need to be done. Okay, so let's take a look at this religious factors. Tell me about Aries and love. Give me a message for Aries and love, please. Give me a message for Aries. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles. The Hermits. Wow, okay. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Aries. You could have been spending a lot of time alone, soul searching, you know. I feel like you're very independent. You're very independent. You know how to get things done on your own. You don't need anybody else for help. Um, you're just fine with your own company, okay. But I feel like there's something. There's still something with this Knight of Pentacles. There's... Something that is offering some kind of stability, some kind of stable offer. I feel like this is a solid offer. If this is a person who's approaching you, I feel like they're coming very sincere, right? And I feel like this person, if, if it is a person, now this could be your energy areas, but I feel like this person is very stable, very nurturing, right? Um... But I feel like you're at the point right now where you're kind of liking a, your alone time. You really don't want to be um, disturbed. That's the word that I'm getting. You really don't want to be disturbed. You're like happy in your own situation. You're happy making your own decisions. You're happy with your independence. Um, tell me more about this. Give me more messages about this because I do still see this offer. Who is this offer? This Knight of Pentacles. Give me a message. Where is this Knight of Pentacles energy? Oh, someone doesn't want, to, want you to be alone anymore. Hmm. Someone doesn't want you to be alone. Someone doesn't want you to. Wow, the Seven of Pentacles. Someone's been watching you, Aries. Someone's been watching you. And now they're trying to make an effort to kind of come into your life. You know, just get that attention. Because someone feels like they, they see you. They don't want you to be alone any longer. They want to offer you this opportunity to get together, you know, to grow something, to put in effort, right? And maybe it is that, that they feel like maybe they have approached you already and... Um, they're trying to show you how much they're interested and they feel like they're kind of being ignored. Okay, they feel like you're not even noticing them. Tell me more about this. Give me more messages. But I feel like there's a lot of work and effort into this. This person really wants to be noticed. If this is a person in your life, this is a person who wants to be noticed. And they feel like at the moment, they feel like they're being ignored. Yeah, this person sees the conflicts and struggles that you've been through. 
They see that and they want to make changes. They want to change your situation, Aries. They want to bring you more happiness, more peace. This person really wants to communicate. They really want to open up and speak to you. If this is like a secret admirer situation, I feel like this person really wants to communicate. They really want to move forward because they've seen your struggles. They want to see change in your life, right? And they feel like they can be this change. They feel like they can make a difference. Okay? Um, wow. Wow. I'm going to need a timeline with this one. Spirit, is, if this is going to happen in the present or the near future, give me a timeline for this person. Give me a timeline, please. This person really has something to say to you, Aries. Timeline the time frame is undetermined right now. Yeah, I feel like the timeline is undetermined right now because it all depends on you. It all depends on you, Aries. You know, what are you going to do in this situation? If you know this person, uh, <clears throat> if you know this person may be interested, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep ignoring this person? Are you going to let them put in the effort, right? Are you going to let them put in the effort and communicate with them? Hmm. Very interesting, Aries. Okay, now let's take a look at money. Let's take a look at money for Aries. What do we have for Aries, please? Ooh, the High Priestess. When it comes to money, the High Priestess, there's something that's unresolved. But there's also something that you may be researching. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles. So whatever this is that's unresolved... Yeah, you're going to get this increase. Ooh, the magician. Okay, okay, I get it. And we also have the Knight of Wands on the bottom. So I feel like you're putting in the action. There's something going on, Aries. I feel like you may be creating something. I feel like there's some things that are kind of unresolved. You don't have all the answers just yet. But as far as when it comes to money, this is money, career, finance, what have you, right? Um, but I feel like whatever this is that you're researching, whatever this is that's unresolved, um, you're still getting some kind of increase, okay? There's still something coming in. There's something that you're trying to perfect, right? Um, but I feel like that abundance is there. There is something that you're manifesting. Um, and I feel like it's very close to you. There's there's something coming through for you, Aries. Um, you may have put out your intentions. Because look, the magician is pointed straight at this queen. Okay, He's pointing straight at that increase. Straight at that abundance. Right? And he's bringing it down to earth. So I feel like what this is that you've manifested is about to come to life. Okay? Um, this is that new start, that new beginning that's coming with your money situation. But there is abundance here. Okay? There is some kind of increase, maybe a job promotion. Um... Maybe a win of some kind, right? And a win can be categorized as anything. It could be categorized as a job that you've been pursuing. A raise, okay? <clears throat> yeah, we also have the Queen of Swords. So, definitely, definitely, 
you're, you're understanding that even though you don't have all the answers, you still got it going on, right? And I feel like you're putting yourself out there to make yourself be seen, to know that, you know, not everyone has all the answers, but I have a good understanding for everything that is going on in this situation. And I'm putting in this effort. I'm making the, I'm making these things happen, right? I'm, I'm pulling these things that I want from the universe down to my reality, down to the 3D. Okay, so I feel like whatever you're doing, you're pulling things down to the 3D. Look at this. We have the Queen of Swords and the King of Swords. Wow. So you're demanding your respect. You're not walking away without being understood, without being heard, right? You're demanding that you are respected in the situation, okay? So that, that's the reason why we have this new start coming, because... There, there's something fantastic that's going to be happening with your finances, Aries. Something fantastic. We have the Queen of Wands at the bottom. So definitely, you are a go-getter. You're ready to take action. You're ready to jump on whatever this is, right? You're ready to just go forward and produce, <laughs> right? So I'm, I'm really liking this for you. I'm really liking this. I really... When I'm doing this money spread, I really get a very big excitement because I feel like this is where most of your attention lies. Maybe that's the reason why most of your attention wasn't on your relationship area because you're focused on your money. You're focused on your pinnacles, Aries. So that's the reason why you're so um, reluctant to jump into anything else because you may not have time. For this relationship because you have your mind, your your priorities in the area of your finances, of manifesting whatever this is that you want. Okay, now let's get an, an outcome for these finances. Let's get an outcome because I see that you're manifesting. Oh, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles twice. I'm liking this. Your abundance is coming in. It's coming in. Look how she's nurturing that. We also have the Fool. So there's that new beginning. There's taking those risks. You know, taking that leap of faith. I feel like doing that is putting you on this new beginning with finances. Whatever this is, like I said, this could be new career, new money, new new job. Um, but it's a new forecast for you, right? And it's bringing you abundance and increase. So that's the important thing. What it is you're manifesting, you're bringing forward. Okay? So I feel like that's very important for Aries because you have this abundance. And with this abundance... No, you still don't have all the answers, but you have this increase. You are ready to take on this harvest, right? And I really feel like it's bringing a lot more stability. You're not worried about situations. You know, you're more or less demanding your respect, right? So I feel like there's a lot of stability here for Pinnacles energy. So definitely, your finances are becoming more stable. Definitely becoming more stable. And you're able to have this abundance and happiness, right? And you may be able to pick and choose the opportunities that you put yourself in. You know, because you're no longer just accepting anything that comes about. You're able to pick and choose these opportunities. This is the after tarot. So yeah, this isn't a missed opportunity. This is an opportunity that he refused. Right? So, I mean, you're in the position now to where you're stable. You're like, no, I'm not going to accept just anything in my life. I'm going to be very picky and choosy. And I'm going to choose what's best for me. I'm going to choose what's best for Aries. 
right? So that's beautiful. You still don't have all the answers, but you're following your intuition. And I feel like that is very important. That's very important in the situation. By listening to that inner voice. Because what is being revealed to you is something that I believe that you're going to follow. Right? Okay. So let's take a look at... <clears throat> your general reading what else is going on with Aries okay the chariot moving oh I'm liking this you're moving ahead you're moving forward you could be literally moving Aries for some kind of job opportunity I'm getting it Hot damn. <laughs> we have the chariot and the emperor. Aries energy. You go, Aries. You are in your power. You're in your power. You're moving forward. You're moving very powerful, very strong, very capable. And I feel like this is moving on to everything that you want. Right? Everything coming into fruition. Look at this. Because the... The uh, magician, look, that's pointed towards the chariot, towards that new beginning, right? So this is beautiful. Have patience, Aries. It's coming. It's coming forward. Okay. Yeah, we have the page of pentacles. So there's definitely going to be some offers. There's definitely going to be some offers of new abundance, new um, opportunities coming your way. Uh, there could also be some good news coming your way, some kind of shift, um, your ending cycle, starting new cycles. This is beautiful. I'm loving this. Your ending cycles and starting new cycles. You have new beginnings. These are new ideas, new creativity, taking new action. Okay, you're not just sitting back waiting for things to happen, Aries. You're the go-getter. You're the emperor. You're, you're making things happen. You're like, I'm not sitting back waiting on anybody. I'm making this happen. This is me. Right? So I'm loving this energy. I'm loving this energy. And we have the Hierophant on the bottom, Aries. So I feel like you're being spiritually guided. You're being divinely guided. You could be getting advice. You could be um, listening to some advice. You know, the Hierophant, this is a wise teacher, right? So I feel like if you're learning lessons, you're learning from those lessons. Um, so I feel like you're taking all your knowledge with you, right? You're, you're using it wisely. You're taking advantage of your opportunities wisely, okay? Um... Get an outcome. Let's get more clarity. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, new money coming in, new opportunities, a blessing. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Chariot, the World. Wow, now this is your near future. You know, this is your near future energy here. Okay, Aries. So this is what's in store. Because what is in store for you is like incredible. It's incredible. But I feel like it's all the work that you've done. Look at that. The sun. You're in an incredible position. Okay. And I feel like it's all because... You have this emperor energy. You're, you're just right here in your power. Okay? There's things that are happening. Okay? There's things that you're doing that are putting you in your power. Now, we do have the devil here. Okay? So, there is this negativity that you want to stay away from. I feel like that's the one bad card in this reading. But actually, if you really think about it, the devil isn't a bad card. 
The devil is battling our own negative vices, right? Our own addictions, our own shortcomings, whatever's holding us back, whatever's binding us. So that's something that you may have to take a look at, Aries, is what's binding you? What's holding you back from the sun? What's holding you back from your abundance? What addictions do you have? What, um, what is binding you? What negative emotions, feelings, people? You know, sometimes there's people that we have to let go because they're just too negative for our vibration to increase to bring forward a manifestation, right? So th there's something that you do have to look at in order to, you know, bring this into fruition. And I feel like for some of you, it's going to be very obvious. It could be temptation. It could be some kind of addiction. That could be addiction to food, addiction to, you know, alcohol, uh, substances, you know, addiction to relationships. Okay. So there's something here. Tell me more about this devil, though. I want to be nosy. The tower. Yeah, there's something that's going to change. This is... This is change that you don't quite see coming, okay? There's a lot of changes happening. Now, the tower isn't always bad. The tower is, in some cases, a blessing in disguise. So maybe you're releasing these negative energies and changing your situation. There's something that has to collapse in order for everything else to thrive. Because what this tower is built on, this tower is built on sand. It's not going to thrive. It's not built on solid ground, you know. So this is a blessing in disguise. This could also be freeing yourself from this negativity, okay. So take it how it resonates, Aries. Because I feel like there is definitely something that you're leaving behind. There's something that you're more focused on. But you're letting everything else go, okay? So that you can walk into that Nine of Cups energy, okay? So there is something that you're releasing, but I feel like you're doing it for very good cause, okay? I feel like that abundance is coming forward because of this release, okay? So look at that, the lovers. And then we have the Four of Cups. So... You're not releasing an opportunity. You're running with it. Okay? And we have the chariot again. So definitely, definitely you have really good movement. Really good movement. So I'm really loving this for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get an angel card for Aries. What does Aries need to know, please? What does Aries need to know? <clears throat> Ascension. Yes. Move into your true self. Rise above the darkness. The light is here. Okay? So you're moving out of that darkness. And look at this. We have soul expansion. Oh my gosh. So much growth. So much growth. This is that subconscious growth. Right? So... It, it, here we had the indigo and the crystal children. So the, the indigo, like I said, is your third eye opening. It's your third eye chakra. So I feel like you're very intuitive. We did have the um, high priestess twice in this reading. So you, I feel like your intuition is very high. Your intuition is thriving. So it's very important to trust that intuition. Your third eye is opening. You may have some kind of awakening. You may receive downloads or so forth. Okay. So be aware. We have soul expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Okay. So that's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. We have a lot of growth here. You're, you're doing a lot of growing as a person, right? So let's get an angel number for Aries before we close out this reading. Let's get an angel number for Aries. 
if you've been watching my readings, you know that I am in love with these angel numbers. So, yeah. Let's get you an angel number. Aries. <clears throat> okay, we have 1212 duality. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is in your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Right? So your affirmation, Aries. I fully embrace who I am and allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me. So trust that light and dark within yourself. You know, that spirit side versus the light side, right? So trust your intuition. Trust what's in you. Okay? So, Aries. My beautiful Aries. This is your reading. Okay? If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. And until your next reading, Aries, have a wonderful holiday. Happy birthday. It's Aries season. And um, many blessings to you. Love and light.